Check out this sign I helped build today. We're having a party. Of course, that's not what this video is about. We're doing part two of the mural because I couldn't get it all in one week. Came into the building this week and there's balloons everywhere. It's because someone had a birthday and I guess this is how we celebrate in the studio. They're just everywhere. Last thing I wanted to show you is this. Super stoked because I finally got it finished and now I get to move on to the next one. You can get a better look at it on Instagram. to this church right here. That house right there is the house my brother and I did grades one through three and we used to play in this field. Now, if anyone's wondering why the church is losing its grasp on people, it's because of decisions like this. Why would you fence off a great place for kids to play. Doesn't make any sense to me. So when I'm doing community engagement, I'm looking for patterns and I've discovered a few. There's a lot of crummy school murals in this city. That's not one of them. That's the loneliest sound on the playground. through the project here. I'm happy with how that's turning out, but you can see there's still a lot left to do. What I wanted to show you was my makeshift studio here. I'm using the back end of my truck, but the smartest thing I have is this water, camping water, so I can clean my brushes. I just pour all this in a bucket. Also, can rehydrate. So if you're out on the street, make sure you bring lots of water.
I'm back in my truck and I'm really tired. I just walked whew, about six kilometers trying to figure out what my theme was gonna be for this art project. And I can tell you, I've got one. And uh, it's all gonna make sense in just one second. You see Marlboro and the surrounding communities are all attached to this mall. So there's a lot of shopping carts sort of left all over the place. So I'm definitely gonna use the theme of shopping carts. <laughs> 